Okay, this is week number four since the garden's been planted and uh, everything's going really nice. The uh, cucumbers, you can see the cucumber cage here, how the, the plants have uh, almost, just about one of them's almost reached the top and uh, things are looking good. The zucchini plants are really, really looking good. It's actually little zucchini on there. I don't know if we can zoom in and maybe on this plant we can zoom in a little bit and there's some different little flowers and little zucchini is going to be growing pretty pretty soon there. The other zucchini plants are doing good. Pepper plants are they're holding their own. They're not they're not accelerating, but they're they're pretty slow. They like the summer, the heat of like June and July. The uh, watermelon plants along the edge here are starting to sprout and training those to go around near the fence. And uh, planted little planted sunflower plants between the uh, watermelon plants. I don't know if you can zero in on like right there. There. They're sunflower plants, and what I did is I just alternated and put sunflower plants in between each of the watermelon. Because the watermelon plants, they're going to grow low to the ground, and the sunflower, of course, they're going to grow real tall. I'm just going to swing around here. I got got a whole row of sunflowers over here. I had to put them be behind the fence because the rabbits, they love sunflower seeds and uh, you know plants rather and uh, they'll eat them right up because I last year I tried planting them in the wildflowers and the rabbits just somehow they find them and just eat them up the uh, eggplants those plants are doing pretty good right here they take a while because the eggplants won't happen until like like July or August okay the tomato wheel is coming along and uh, made a few changes. I put some corn in the center of the tomato wheel and uh, I'll zero in on that right now. I figured well I had the corn and I didn't know where to put it so I figured well we'll make like a hubcap in the center of the, the tomato wheel and uh, the cantaloupe will just go around it and I'll feed it in towards the corn and of course you know once again like the sunflower plants the corn, that'll grow tall, but the uh, cantaloupe, they'll stay low to the ground. Okay, we, uh, I noticed something, we had a little setback with the grape plants. I noticed that the leaves, wow, they were really, you know, like, the plants look really healthy, but I didn't see very many grapes on there. And so I did a little research, and I found out that uh, the combination of having a wet spring and a lot of rain, and uh, the other thing was that I fertilized the plants back in March and, uh, and I did a little reading and I guess I should have done the reading before I fertilized that uh, the, the grape plants, they like to be stressed out. They don't like uh, very much fertilizer and they don't like a lot of water. So uh, I, you know, like I think what's gonna happen now is we're just gonna have some good healthy plants and then uh, next year I'll prune them back the way you're supposed to, you know, according to the, uh, the way the uh, winery, you know, the vineyards do it. And hopefully next next season we'll have some good grapes. But this year uh, still remains to be seen whether we're going to have grapes or not. So uh, now the other thing I did, uh, I took the melon plants that were at the base of the grapes and I transplanted those in between the, uh, the tomato plants. Like right there, there honeydew melons I have like eight of those so they go around in a circle in between the, uh, the tomato plants and uh, we'll see what that does because I've done that before run the watermelon between tomato plants and it works out nice over here we have more uh, the cucumber plants and you can see they're about a couple of weeks behind the other uh, cucumbers all right so uh, you can see the those zucchini plants, they're starting to get uh, the flowers and little zucchini on there, so everything's starting to look real good. I'm going to hop over the fence and zoom in on one of those. Give you a little close-up here. 
yeah, see that there's the flower, a little zucchini in there. There's more over here. All right, so they're starting to produce. Sometimes once they get going, uh, it's not uncommon to have zucchini in about four or five days, have, be picking some zucchini. So uh, you have to keep an eye on these because you don't want the zucchini to get too big. Like just about, I don't know, the, the, the normal size of a squash. You know, if it starts to get like a baseball bat, it's, uh, you know, way overdue and it's probably tough and, and all that. So I like them a little smaller and tender like that. All right, so uh, it's gonna swing around here. There's the corn and the cantaloupe plants. All right, the grapes, it's a shame because the, the grapes are looking really good. But I looked at them really close and I can't seem to find any grapes on there. So I don't know if they're just gonna be late, late blooming, but uh, from what I read, it looks like they should have been blooming by now and there should be grapes on there. So, uh, got some healthy plants. So we'll have to see, see what progresses this season. I don't hold out much luck because, uh, like I say, well, from what I read, uh, too much water in the, in the fertilizer, uh, sometimes the plants react a little bit strange to the fertilizer. And uh, sometimes it's fine. But I think the combination of too much water this spring and uh, the fertilizer is, is not, it's not conducive to making a lot of grapes. It makes a lot of leaves. So you learn something. You know, it's, gardening is a science and, uh, you know, you, you go with what, what works. And so this year, what I did didn't work, so next year I won't, I won't go that way. I won't do any fertilizing. and. Uh, you know, I've been told that, that the grapes like to be stressed. They don't like a lot of water. And a uh, matter of fact, you shouldn't water them at all. So I, I really haven't watered them, but too much rain. We've been getting a lot of rain every few days. All right, so uh, that's about it from the garden. This is uh, the fourth week. And uh, pass along another update about a week or 10 days. All right, that's it for now.